So this is my 1864 Melodeon, and you just heard this piece by the British composer who is also a great dance master, prolific writer of dance music, 
named Charles Dalbert. Now, dance music was ubiquitous in the 19th century because the major social events always required social dancing, and uh, there was a huge market for this type of material. Dalbert's is really wonderful. And uh, the piece is called Constantinople, and Dalbert would choose very topical things to catch people's interest, and this was meant as a commemoration of the 18th 07 warfare between the Ottoman Empire and the British. So you heard this dance music. This was built in 1864, and it was primarily a home instrument. It was used in small churches occasionally, but it was really more a home entertainment. This instrument, on the other hand, my 1871 SD Cottage organ represents another iteration of this type of instrument. Both of these instruments use metal reeds to sound the notes, and like a harmonica, they require airflow through them to get the sound out. When you depress a key, of course, that triggers the sound to play, assuming you are foot pumping. Otherwise, nothing comes out. So they both have that same principle, but this one represents a development that went very far in the 19th century, which is a sort of an inner player with a different pumping method, but it's the same idea, but it had much more numbers of rows of brass stops, brass, uh, brass reeds, that were triggered by stop pulls that you see at the top here. And this enabled this instrument to sound much more sophisticated tones than this little guy here. It's not little. And <laughs> the, the thing that happened, this remained a home instrument, but it also ended up being very popular in small churches and even larger churches. You get these, they're, they're gigantic, they're double keyboards. This one is a small one, but it's amazingly versatile. And it can play the normal entertainment music, but it also can play art music because of the stops and also because it enables the performer, the player, to do nuances, dynamics, <coughs> accents. So it's a real artistic instrument. That said, I chose four compositions that would go in the art music direction with this instrument. They are from the 19th century and they are intended for, quote, organ or harmonium. The first one is a piece by George Wakefield Chadwick, a Boston-based American composer and organist. It's called Pastoral, and it was definitely intended for the reed organ. And it, uh, the way I play it, it features this beautiful Vox Celeste stop, or it's Vox Jubilant on this instrument. And you'll hear it's very human. Second piece. There are actually two pieces. They are written by Anthony Philip Heinrich, published 1849, and they are called Festival of the Dead and Cries of the Souls. Now Heinrich, who came from Bohemia uh, and settled in a log cabin, witnessed the Native Americans, witnessed the, uh, the African Americans, and he took their music and their culture and try to incorporate it into his music. So these pieces that are taken from a larger suite called Indian Carnival were an homage to the religious ceremonies that he either observed or knew about that the Native Americans uh, enacted. The third piece is a small piece by uh, George Wakefield Cad uh, Chadwick's contemporary, Arthur Foote. Arthur Foote was also a Boston-based composer and organist, and this piece called Communion is a very meditative, contrapuntal piece that has a chorale within it, very sophisticated music, music, but could have been used either in the home as a meditative piece or certainly in a church during Communion. So. That's the third piece. The last piece in the set for this one is a big fugue by another emigre 
from this, this one is from Germany, it's Charles Zoyner. And he was a brilliant organist, conductor, composer, and a musical entrepreneur. He arranged concerts, and he was a major force in the early to mid 19th century in introducing European art music to the young United States that had not heard a lot of this, this type of material. So that's the set. Now I will begin.
most wonderful instruments, as you can see. And I have to give credit, huge credit, to two American restorers uh, who took these from the dead to sounding the way they probably originally sound. And also, I have to credit my husband, Edmund, for helping set this up. We had certain moments this morning that were scary, but they seem to resolve themselves. Uh, but the two restorers are for the 1864 Melodeon, which was built during the Civil War in Connecticut. The restorer is Hans Herr. For the 1871 Cottage Organ, the restorer is Casey Pratt. And currently, Casey and Hans are working together to restore a, 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 a wonderful organ in Pennsylvania, Tannenberg. And there's a mystery project coming up that they're both going to be involved in, which you will probably find out more about later. So I'm going to conclude with another Charles Dalbert dance. This one is a, a mazurka waltz called Sweet Thoughts, Douce Pensée.
those who are interested, apparently, the, uh, the crew here will move the cameras over. And if you wish to come up, oh, you don't have very much time, about, you know, if you'd like to get a closer look or even try it out, hurry up after they move the cameras. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming. And I'm very happy to play these wonderful instruments. Our thanks to artist Wodehouse for this fabulous concert and for introducing many of us to the melodeon and the cottage organ and the music that was played during the 19th century throughout America in American parlors. So thank you very, very much for that. My name is John Thiessen. I'm the executive director of Gotham Early Music Scene. Midtown concerts are generously supported by you, our audience, and we thank you for your continuing support, especially during this season of giving. Our sponsors include the Howard Gilman Foundation, the New York State Council on the Arts, and the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs. For our online viewers, please visit gemsny.org and show your support for this important series by making a generous donation. Now join us next week for Concordian Dawn in a program of medieval vocal music, which you won't want to miss. That's next Thursday at 1.15 here at St. Malachy's Church, the Actors Chapel on West 49th between Broadway and 8th Avenue in beautiful Manhattan. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.